Alright, hey guys, Teto here, and today I'm playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. I've gotten a few requests to play this game, but um, I'm, I'm going to skip the prologue for two reasons. A, by, the game's been out a while now, so I'm sure anyone who's wanted to see the prologue has seen it. And B, I've played this before, and the prologue took me two and a half hours. So, <laughs> that's like easily two, three videos, maybe four. So, we're going to skip through that, and uh, I, I might just show the major cutscenes. Yeah, th that's what I'll do. I'll just show the major cutscenes. There we go. So, uh, I will be back once I get to one of the major cutscenes. Alright guys, now that I've run all those errands for Father, so we can make uh, Lord Kobula's sword, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, no, Sir Radzig Kobula. That's that's it. I was um, almost, guys. I almost had that. But yeah, so now I just gotta give this girl some nails that he made, and uh, yeah. It's gonna trigger a pretty good cutscene, so. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. Um, is she fine? Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. That's not why it was great, by the way. <laughs> fine lass, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? try it. Fail. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, says Van. Have a safe journey to Sasa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Oh. 
You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? That. to the house and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. What about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sarazza. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me.
Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Dibbish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir.
Alright guys, I think I'm only showing two cutscenes, so yeah, here we are. Um, I'm now just starting to return to Scallets here. I'm going to look for snacks, basically, on dead people. This sounds terrible, I'm just going to get going. Um, I think this is where I'll start the actual video now. Uh... So yeah, here we go. Hope you guys didn't mind the. You're in the wrong place. Oh wrong. shit. You call that combat? I know how to fight, bitch. No. You don't get to live. You attacked me. Time to get killed. Ah. Mainly because I want to see if you have any money on you. No, no money. No? Well, shit. Alright, well, I'm not gonna bother with them because they've been dead for a while, so. We're gonna keep on the road again and uh, try to get down to Scallops. Alright, guys, here we are in Scallops. I totally forgot to say something, but. We're gonna go find and bury our parents. There they are. Why did he do it to me, Father? Did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. I'll find the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here, under the linden tree, at least I can do that much for you. So, let's get to it.
done it all. some help? Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? It's Bishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. You leave me alone. Kill him, right? I cut the bastard down. Should have listened to me. Mm. Mm. This is nice work. Mm. The chief is going to like it. Mm. It's new, isn't it? Mm. And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Mm. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. Mm. I believe there's a word such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! Games are over.
and even later. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Ugh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Yup. Seems fair. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My god. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. Yeah, alright. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay hey. my debt. You have my word. Alright. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Alright guys, and there we have it. We have finally finished the prologue. That, yet again, took me three hours. So we're gonna smash down some of these sweet pancakes. I'm actually kind of hungry myself. <laughs> uh, one, two, three pancake. Eat from the pot. And voila! I am very well nourished. I'm still wearing almost nothing. Oh yes, because I pre-ordered it, I have a bunch of the ancient maps. So I can actually go and find me some... Uh, treasures so we're gonna equip this 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 get all the food and my nine <laughs> nine crossing that's, that's great all right so armor green shirt hunter's gloves this this i'm not gonna wear that yet because i don't need it I'm going to throw that on, though, because why not? You know, I don't want this. It looks ugly. Yep, there we go. Alright, that's that's all my clothing. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to take a little break from recording this. You guys won't see it, but I need to make food because I'm fucking hungry, so... Yeah. We'll be right back. Alright, guys, and we are back now. Alright, so... I don't remember what we were supposed to do. Uh, I think... Yeah, we gotta go talk to Sir Radzig. Supposed to talk to the miller. Yeah, he's right here. I'm gonna do that now. Ah, oh, hey, I was in here. Come here. Come on, Miller Patrick. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshe, and I'm the Miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. That she did. I'm talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. Mm -hmm. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Sure. Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. 
just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else and not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. <sighs> I don't want to because I remember doing this one, but I'll do it for you guys. Just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech Kohelnitz Miller had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ, you want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first. My guy looks drunk. Later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's this is a great view here. To disturb a corpse, never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? Ah, <sighs> I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Okay. Um, real quick, I'm just gonna check my buffs. Oh, hey, I have a level. Um, I've got first aid. Damn. Alright, let's see what these do, I don't remember. Penalties on the stats following release from jail are 20% lower? Okay. Uh... Energy fall shorter. Night rider, standard generate 20% faster at night. I don't like night, so... I'll do this one. I, I think. Maybe. You know what? No. Let's do this. Just in case I do end up going to jail. The stats are, uh, painful. Oh, yeah. I'm slightly drunk because I drink. Yeah, so one of the ways you have to save in this game is by drinking Savior Schnapps. Which is an alcoholic beverage, so... You know, drink it and you get drunk. So, gonna grab my spade. Unless I didn't get to keep it. No? I didn't. Grab those just in case. Okay, well. Let's find, uh. Oh, right there. Alright, let's go up and talk to the executioner, guys. So. I'm trying to decide on how to do this. I, what I might do is I might just do some episodes where it's just straight up side quests. And then other days where it's just all the main missions. I think that'll work out best, probably. So on that note, I'm going to go do the Executioner one. going to go talk to Sir Radzig. And then... I don't know. We'll see how long the video is by then. And uh, then I'll we'll, uh, decide. Because these videos are probably going to be... Around 40 minutes. At least. Especially when I can't fast travel like this, so. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, speed mode. Really quickly. And here we go, guys. We are now at the Executioner's Place. It's, uh, 
See if I can't lead him away. Oh. Okay. Miller Peshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. But I never bought any flour from him. I've got a feeling you're trying to fool me, and all you want is to snoop. Oh. Damn. Okay. So don't... Uh, I suppose he did tell me not to vex him, eh? Well, let's just fucking run around up here. If he can't see me, he can't harm me, so ha. Huh. Well, this isn't what I saw myself doing today. Nothing on the left hand. The right. Shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, All right. to... Back to Pajik. Alright. Talk to me, old man. Good day to you. What do you... There was no there was ring. There's in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. Ah. Right. Go right. and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past the lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. Yeah, no, no never picked the lock. So to try that yet? Fucking hell. How did I get landed with a cretin like you? I'll have to teach you then. Come with me. Hopefully this will Hold the lock pick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumble. In your left hand, you hold the blade and use it to turn the whole mechanism. Right. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumble of the pick. Otherwise, I hate you. Ah, uh. and broke the lock pick. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. I'm bad at this, guys. You're a dab hand out. Make something out of you yet. It's only for practice. With real locks, you have to watch out for the pick. Try it a few more times. Why? How many picks do I have? Nine. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try it again because I'm really bad with lock picking. Oh sh. Okay. Son of a bitch. Oh, come on. Yeah, reach new level in lock picking. Hopefully, this chest just resets automatically. There we go. Oh no, I have. I, I broke all my. Oh my good god. Um. Am 
Miller Patrick, do you have any more of those? Damn it. Okay, so he does not appear to just sell lockpicks. Oh, I can't fast travel up to him. Fuck, I'm not gonna be able to do this one, guys. I'll try. I, I, I'll try it. If I get caught. Shit. <laughs> Oh well. I'll get back to his once I'm at the executioner's house again. Ah. Oh. Come here. I'm gonna talk to him. I don't think I'll be able to lockpick, so. This is a bit awkward. Recently, you buried a convict, and um, this convict, um... Play on his feelings, let's do it. Man. He left three young children, and I thought it might ease their hearts if I gave them the ring their father had on him in his final hour. I'm sure you wouldn't bury him with such a valuable thing. What? Are you implying I robbed the dead? I'll count to three, and if you're oh. still here, I'll smash your teeth in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come here, Lily Liver. Stop running around me. Okay, I would kick his ass then. Let's hear it. Hit him with the quick. Ja oh, I'm inside of him. Okay, that's weird. Hit him with the quick jabs. All right. One, two, three. Get, get back. One. I would kick his ass. <laughs> Alright, let's hit him with quick jabs again. One, two, three, four, five. Back away. Slowly. Seven is back. Okay. One, two, three, four. Knee in the face. He didn't even give me three seconds. He fucking lied. Stop backing up. Let me hit you! I'm bad at fist fighting! Haha, <laughs> 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 I kicked you. <laughs> oh, I got him! <laughs> Anything I can loot? Holy shit! Oh, I didn't want to. Oh, oh no. Um. Okay, I'm gonna drop this. I didn't mean to. Fashionable blue hose. What else? Yeah, get rid of that. I'm keeping a sword. Uh. <laughs> there. Oh, I had his key. Dead man's ring. Wait. Do I have access to his other chest then? Beggars, tuners, bludgeon, 16 grosh. What didn't you understand? I'm stuck on the pigs. Are you looking for me? Well, I kicked his ass and now he's sitting there. All right. Little does he know I took a sword. Hey, hey, hey. Oops. Okay, let's go back to the mill. I'm gonna stash that in my chest because if anyone finds that on me, because sometimes the guards will randomly question you as you walk in the door. So if they uh, stop to check me for loot and I have the sword on me, it might not go over so well. So we're gonna move that in there for a little bit. Then after people stop giving a shit, I will continue to use it because it's actually a decent sword. Now, Miller Peshek, we have to talk. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can 
trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring, the white set, the miller and Cohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods for you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Stolen goods. Thanks, but I'm no thief. I'm no thief. I meant thief. All right, guys, let's fast travel to the front gate, just to make it that that much quicker. See, instead of running there. See, normally I like walking, but I'm gonna fast travel a lot during this series, just for the sake of getting there quicker. I feel like this guard's gonna give me shit because I beat up the executioner. If it'll load. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, the Rad Kabila of Voyage. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think you'll see you? Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. What? Don't Come on. Off. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzig what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzig isn't pleased. <laughs> well, that one works. Oh, got a bit of a lag spike there, guys. Oh, hey, it's these two. Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul, it is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. All right. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of this game is story-based, so I'm not going to try to skip through too much. I can't remember where the kitchen is, though. Do I still have this glitch where I can't walk up the stairs? Yes, I do. Okay. For me to walk up that staircase, guys, I have to crouch. It's really odd. I'm in the wrong spot. There we go. Ah, off to see Sir Radzig. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness, this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Birchstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Rate, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanush. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. 
I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. Oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <coughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, well, she was remarkable too. <laughs> they deserved a Christian sure. burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury... That plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. <laughs> One skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why do you come Take that, out? friar. <laughs> I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. Well, they almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true. Except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well. Believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord! He's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest <laughs> of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... 
Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I will I'm not. My lord. I am a great, great fighter. All right, so what I'm going to do, guys, is in the time between videos, I'm going to practice training with uh, Robard. So that way, I'm not having to edit out three hours of training. So, uh, all right. One sec, I'm just going to see how long this recording is. Ah, we're going on 30 minutes. All right, so we're going to finish this quest. Go to training gear round and talk to Bernard. Yeah, so we'll finish this quest the and the Miller's quest. I just got to go talk to What's-His-Face there. And then I'll probably call it for this video, just because... Got a bit of editing to do. <laughs> um, I'm just doing this while I'm running. Just seems like a good thing to do. As as it goes on, I, I want I want to know from you guys how long you want the videos to be, roughly. Because like thirty minutes, it's fine. Just means I'll have to do a lot more editing or a lot more episodes. One of the two. So I, I was thinking around, or I said around really weird there, around 45-ish minutes, maybe an hour on some videos, but I'll leave that up to you guys. But for now, let's, uh, let's get to training when I get there, slowly, surely, there we go. Oh yeah, he's not going to be here because it's nighttime. Shit. Um, okay. New plan. Wait till daytime. Bernard! Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. If one of these gives energy. Sure, dried shrooms. Any of these give energy? Any of them? Yes, but I don't want to be friggin' drunk, so we're gonna... We're just gonna go through it. Fuck it. Good day to you. What do you need? Alright, basic here training. For training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Rad's exhibit. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzig wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with... My father was a blacksmith, so I've learned a thing or two. Fine, we'll try something more advanced. There we go. That and I just remember how to fight. Very well then. Whoops. See what you made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Alright, let's go. There we go. Now, now, Bernard, I'm not that good. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah. 
Yeah, eat that, Bernard. Fucking tearing through him. He has, he he can't do shit. Ow, ow, he's doing shit. Oh, oh, he did a lot of shit. Oh. <laughs> Fine enough. You're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Oh, look at the stance changer. Okay. But in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Look at that. Look at that. Attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up. Do an uppercut. My sword is low. Lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times. Yep, the yep, where I'm not yep. My Basic training. There we go. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack! And I'll show you. Alright, there we go. He poked me in the belly. Alright, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stand. As soon as I start to attack, you block. Boop knocks the blade. It's gonna slow it down though, which isn't fun. There we go, perfect block. Nice. Boom, perfect block. Uh, that's it. Yeah, there we go, guys. Good. We're retraining Henry. See, you actually have to train him. If not, he's uh, shit uh, in combat, so... Even though I know a good chunk, it's still not, not good. Yay, block. I might speed through this training, though. Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on. Do I have any? Oh, I can't do my skills here. Could say the same for you, Sir Hans. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. There we go, guys. You can learn the combat with me for a little bit. It's important not to move too soon. After this, I don't think I'll show too much of my training, because I'll I'm gonna spend a lot of time training. See me raise the weapon, jump us up. You'll throw the opponent so. off a bit, and there's your chance. Well done. Just because I'm gonna end up spending a lot of time training, I don't really wanna I don't wanna show it all. Good. You will, because I'm a great soldier. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent. Talent alone won't do. Practice. Lots of it in this game, because that actually matters. Don't leave yet. So Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Oh Come shit. I forgot about this. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Gonna go for a casual stroll, guys, that you will probably see in four times speed. Alright, here we go guys. Here is the archery range. Archery in this game is uh, quite, quite difficult. That's all I'm going to say. You will see in a few seconds why I say that. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Now concentrate. The bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. If you wouldn't have gotten far there, you're holding nothing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Go um. Go, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. Can I do it after he's out of the... Okay. It's all one movement. Arrow aiming at the target and flying. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so Has anyone fast told you you're them. supposed to shoot Don't at forget the, the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. There we go. There we go. Oh, bullseye. Oh, fuck. That's it, then. I don't like to say it, but it wasn't that bad. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. All right. Seven arrows, guys. Let's kick his ass. Two. Shit. Four. Six. Holy shit! If I keep getting the twos. Or I can. Oh, that wasn't a bullseye? Oh, I thought that was a bullseye. That one was. Boom! Eat that, bitch! See, so you do better than that, huh? Huh? You can't, because I'm fucking good! Yeah, look at that. You can't fucking beat me! You can't fucking beat me! <laughs> fucking demolished his points. Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand, ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hans has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. 
So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. All right. Let's hope I kick his ass here too. Boom. Come on, swing, swing, swing. I dare you. Come on, what do you got? What do you got? Swing. Double poke. He does not seem to like when I jab. Ha ha! Fucking got him there too. I actually came close to. You got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Yay! What is that, Bernard? Huh? Hey, watch it. Huh? Oh, okay. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it back. Um... You shouldn't have challenged me. Challenge me. Careful. You might be under Sir Adzik's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now, go to the Rat House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. All right. Um, I think we're going to finish up... How far of a walk is that? Okay, never mind. If I had a horse, I'd finish that up. I'll do that one in the next video. So, um, in the meantime, guys, I'm going to train some more with Bernard. Get some more, uh, sword fighting techniques stuff in there. Let's, do I have any skills I can level up? I do. I do indeed. In my agility. Featherweight. Falling causes 30% less injury. Okay. How many upgrades does it have? 4, 8, 12, 16, 25, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, okay. Oh wait, I learned that, so I'm just going to get Featherweight. I think there's only 5 that you can actually research, but research, uh, put a skill point into. But yeah, so that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, I'll try to get another one of these up. In the meantime, I'm going to... Continue training with Bernard, so I will uh, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.